be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> Keep them coming. One, two, three, heave! Sorry, I can't help you. I don't know this area well. Keep them coming. Attention Dunwall oh, citizens. Me, this is a special announcement others, from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. 
It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We are a high overseer temple for the generous loan of their services. to pass me by. All the others, down with the sickness. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Please clear the area. When a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches our moving business, be advised that such vehicles will not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. I think the little birdies are sad today. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny rags, granny rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well. They'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. Come on! Let's get this guy! Get this bastard of Here you are. Let's see what's inside. I'm gonna loot your corpse! Please! I think the little birdies are sad today. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, 
measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Check you over. And there's an inspection fee. What the? Somebody, get over here. I'm gonna. <coughs> Anyone there? you brother I won't ask about the mask I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that you know what I'll return the favor come by Griff's shop that's my business well it was at one time but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies if you need anything I wouldn't mind trading for a little money maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal but until then scavenging for me. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. 
Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shot. You'll have to go or they can be created. It's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. What was it? Help! Just disappeared. You won't stay hidden for long. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital back. That means guts? I think so. 
So your hands need scrubbing. You're clean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Meyer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes
buy your ration of elixir from today? Shut up. Uh-oh. <laughs> 